Let's connect directly to our Postgres instance instead of passing by Superbase. On my dashboard here, I'm going to click on connect. And under connection string here, I can see that I can get a direct connection, a transaction pooler connection or a session pooler connection. Okay, I'm going to use the uh, transaction pooler. Either you can use also the direct connection. It's going to be the same. I got here um, the password that is required under all my requests. So this password here, it's the database password. If you lost it or if you didn't save it, you can come back to your dashboard here, go down on project settings, then under configuration database, reset the password just up here. Once it's done, you come back here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy paste this URL. I'm going to open a terminal, whatever is the natural terminal of your computer or your code editor. Me, I'm going to use warp, which is a terminal. Okay. And what I need to do is to install Postgres if it's not installed on my machine. So I'm under a Mac, me, I can type brew install PostgreSQL at 15. This is the latest version. Once it's done, I can run actually Postgres by typing brew services start PostgreSQL at 15 if it doesn't run. Once it's done, you can directly use PSQL to get access directly here to Postgres. And then you copy paste the address that um, we take here from Superbase. OK, this is a really simple tutorial here. What I'm uh, going to add up here is that I need to add my password. So. Um, of course, I'm going to change the password. You are not going to be able to use it. It's just for the demonstration. OK, once it's done, I'm going to just copy paste the query with my password. Do not try to use it. I'm going to change it anyway, just after the listen. I'm going to type enter. And here what it's going to do, it's going to connect directly my computer, my Postgres instance directly to the remote Postgres instance of Superbase. So basically huh, here I'm connected to uh, the Amazon Web Services here, Pooler, where I can get directly access through my project name and my password to the po Postgres instance. So if you don't know Postgres, I really encourage you to follow a course on Postgres. I didn't do one yet. I'm going to shoot probably one this year, a very long. And then you can do all the operation that you want to do on a Postgres database. So here you got a direct connection that doesn't pass by Superbase. And you can do whatever you want, exactly like if you had a Postgres instance on your localhost.